Well, I am ready to answer another set of 10 questions from Carl Shoup's book, Test Your Bible Knowledge. With this set of 10 multiple choice questions, we will finish the book of Nehemiah and the book of Esther. Esther is one of the greatest stories in the Bible. It has all the elements of a good story. It offers interesting characters, conflict, tension, greed, suspense, conspiratorial acts, and plans for genocide. It's a memorable story and I'm sure there will be quiz questions looking for some detailed answers. Now just like with every quiz, there are four answer choices per question and a Bible reference. Okay, I'm ready to make another perfect score, so I'll test my Bible knowledge by starting with question number 501. In the 87 names given in Nehemiah chapter 10, verse 1 to 26, enlisting the priests, Levites, and chiefs, and occasionally their fathers, the most common initial letter is A, A, B, H, C, M, or D, V. Okay, very first question, and this is going to be a guess on my part because I have no idea. I don't really pay attention to the first initial of the person's name when there's a whole list of these names in the Bible. So I'm just going to take a stab at this, and I'm going to choose B, H, and we'll have to see what the most common initial letter is when we review the answers. Okay, 502. To prevent transport and sale of goods on the Sabbath in Jerusalem, Nehemiah ordered that A, an extra tithe be imposed, B, all asses be impounded, C, the gates be shut, or D, prayer be continuous. I think for this one, I'm going to go for C, the gates be shut for my answer. That seems to make the most sense here. So for 502, I'm going to go for C. Question number 503, and it's the first question from the book of Esther. Queen Vashti was demoted for disobedience chiefly because the king feared that A, once disobedient, always so, B, all wives in the kingdom would follow her example, C, all wives would scorn her because she had disobeyed, or D, foreign potentates would issue no invitations to a husband disobeyed. All right, I remember this story, and I'm very sure that the answer for this one is B. All wives in the kingdom would follow her example. So for 503, I'm choosing letter B. Question number 504. Before going into the king, Esther, like all the other beautiful young virgins brought to the court, purified herself with oil of myrrh, sweet odors, and the like for a period of 12 A minutes, B days, C weeks, or D months. And the answer for this one is definitely D months. Question number 505. Haman persuaded the king to let him order destruction of, quote, a certain people, unquote, within the kingdom, having been angered when obeisance was not rendered by Mordecai, Esther's A, cousin, B, nephew, C, brother, or D, uncle. For this one, I think the answer is A, cousin. I can remember that the Bible says something about his uncle's daughter or something along those lines, so that would make her his cousin, and that's answer A, and that's the one I'm going to choose. 505, I'm going to go for A, cousin. Question number 506. The king's willingness to grant Haman's request can be reconciled with his love for his queen Esther by the fact that he, A, did not know that Esther was a Jewess, B, knew she was a Jewess, but did not know that Haman's projected victims were Jews, C, thought that Esther was indifferent to the fate of her people, or D was stupid. And we'll eliminate D was stupid, and we're going to get rid of C, thought that Esther was indifferent, and I'm going to go for A, did not know that Esther was a Jewess. Question number 507. Esther was reluctant to ask the king to countermand the order because A, she recalled what had happened to Vashti, B, the usual penalty for going to the king without being asked was death. C. She feared the vengeance of Haman. Or D. She could not believe such an order had been issued. And I remember this one, and it is definitely B. The usual penalty for going to the king without being asked was death. So 507, my answer is B. 
508, Haman had to do honor to the man he sought to hang as an indirect consequence of the king's A. Insomnia, B. Nightmares, C. Dreamless Sleep, or D. Snoring, and I remember this, it is definitely A. Insomnia. Question number 509. Haman's final tactical error was, in the presence of the king, to A. Threaten Esther with bodily harm, B. Vilify Esther, C. Agree to compulsory arbitration, or D. Beg his life from Esther. And it is definitely D. Beg his life from Esther, and that was his final mistake. 510. The days of Purim decreed by Queen Esther were so named from A. Purity, B. Poverty, C. Gallows, or D. The Lot. And it is definitely D. The Lot for 510. Okay, that ended that set of 10 questions, and I feel pretty good about this quiz, so I'm going to go right to the back where the answers are waiting for me and see which ones I was able to get correctly. The first one is 501, and I marked B, and the correct answer is B. That one was the one about the initial letters, and look at that, it is H, which was answer choice B for 501. Okay, 502, the correct answer is C, and I put down C. That question was the last one from Nehemiah. It was the one about preventing any work or any transportation of goods on the Sabbath, and the correct answer is C, the gates to be shut, and that's the one that I picked. 503, the first one from Esther, correct answer is B, and that's what I put down, B. That one was the one Queen Vashti was demoted for disobedience chiefly because and the correct answer there, B, all wives in the kingdom would follow her example. 504, the correct answer for that one is D, and that's what I put down here. It was the one about 12 months being the time period allowed for the young virgins brought to the court. 505, the correct answer for that one is A, and that's what I put down, A. And that one was the one about Mordecai and Esther and their relationship as cousins. Okay, 506, and the correct answer for that question is letter A, and I put down letter A. And that one was the one about the king not knowing that Esther was a Jewess. Question number 507, the correct answer there is B, and I put down B. That question was the one Esther was reluctant to ask the king to countermand the order because, correct answer, B, the usual penalty for going to the king without being asked was death. All right, 508. Correct answer there is A. I put down A. And that one was the one Haman had to do honor to the man he sought to hang as an indirect consequence of the king's A, insomnia. 509. The correct answer there is D, and that's what I put down here is D. And that was the question about Haman's final tactical error, and it was to beg for his life. Question number 510, the last one. The correct answer for that is D, and I put down D, which is great news. <laughs> that one was the one about Purim, and it was decreed by Queen Esther, and it was so named from D the Lot. All right, not too bad, actually great. I was able to get all of them correct, which is a 100%. That's two in a row. That's fantastic. Hopefully, I'll be able to do that for the next quiz. And that one will be about the book of Job. And it is full of life lessons. And there's even some science in there. And there's plenty of discussion between the main characters. So I'm sure there will be a lot of tricky questions with that next quiz. So we'll have to see. Hopefully, I'll be able to get another perfect score.